Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Roller Coaster Rider. Hi, and I'm Kay. And this is going to be a very different format from now on, where in previous versions we were just showing you, um, just showing you pictures of our of our of of our cat, and then and snippets of shows or movies. No, we were just showing we were just showing oh. pictures of my cat. Okay. I wanted to avoid uh, YouTube's adorable licensing issue okay. and copyright laws okay so anyway uh we're just gonna just look like this and we apologize for the video quality but hey we're demonetized we don't really have that kind of money and we're just trying it out yeah so it's 1985 or 1955 no, it started out eighty five. Yeah, I know. And, and we're reviewing mm -hmm. and we're reviewing the nineteen eighty five movie probably Back to the Future Part One. This is Back to the Future. This is Back to the Future. This is Back to the Future Month. Okay. I have full a I have month? a full yeah, yeah, we're gonna review I thought all... it was only three weeks. Well, uh, we're also going to do a bonus fourth review of Back to the Future, The Ride, which is oh, like 15 minutes long. Okay. <clears throat> Where we'll pretend to write it. You wrote it. Which I think, takes, but I, didn't. I never wrote oh, it, you didn't which write takes it. place okay. after uh, the sequences of Back to the Future 3. Okay. Special shout out to In the Loop Legend and Drew the Intern for telling me that information. So that way I didn't have to look it up. Thank you. Um. Anyway, it stars... Uh, What's his name? Michael uh, J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. I kept, <laughs> I kept wanting to say, like, Martin Wolf or something. Like, no. And who's the doctor? Marty, it's Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, he likes to do that. Mm-hmm. So, um, basically, it starts out with uh, Doc Brown, Emmett Brown, being extremely into clocks. Yes, the time. And then... Uh, Marty comes over, uh, and that's and he tries to be a rock star, and he essentially blows out half the building. <laughs> At least a huge, what, eight foot tall speaker? Cranked it up to fourteen, not eleven Spinal Tap, but fourteen. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, yep. So then he uh, rides his skateboard uh, to school. Well, he catches or, rides. Wait, is it to school? Yeah, yes. it's to school, and Happy he school. gets his fourth uh, tardy. Mm hmm And then he... He, he wants his band to try out for Battle of the Bands, and the principal was like, he would never win it, but, you know... Yeah, th I don't think the principal really likes him. No. And I was wondering if that might have been because of his father. It could have been. Okay, so anyway, he he starts performing Power of Love, but too loud. Well, they had all the mics, all the amps, all the speakers, all whoo, way up. Cranked, cranked to 11. You've never seen Spinal Tap, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> Neither have I. That'll be a future review, folks. Oh. Tease. Um, it's at that point that... um. Yeah, the principal says that he doesn't like Doc Brown, says he's a bad influence, stuff like that. Not re not really explained. Um, and then, uh, oh, Biff crashes into uh, George McFly's car. Crashes into him. Biff does? Yeah. What are you oh. looking at, butthead? Oh. That guy. Got it. Yeah, you... You just saw the movie. I know. Sorry. My mind it was time warped. Too much pizza? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we had pizza tonight, folks. Pizza and a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, uh so uh Marty goes to uh Hill Valley Mall. It's it's at like one thir one thirty AM. Mm -hmm. About one, yeah, because one twenty ish he gets there or so. Because it was one, it was one thirty four that he ha that he time traveled. Yeah, he took off. Anyway, uh, they do something with the they do something with the dog as a test, and <laughs> Peta, do not say any 
Peter, do not say anything. Do the not dog even is going okay. To look at this. Peter won't. No. You don't know. Some of my subscribers might be Peter supporters. Okay. Go pet. So anyway, um, then, so, so George takes some of the, uh, plutonium, and he got it from. Is it Russians? Could be. I'm pretty sure it's Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't think it would be Russians. I think Russians would have their own weren't Russians like, bomb making. Weren't Russians like the go-to fear in the 80s because uh, Red Dawn also had also had Russia? Could be. That also came out in the 80s, I think. Um. So anyway, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to spoil the entire movie. The Russians uh, kill Doc Brown, shoot him, and... Man, there's a lot of swearing for a PG movie. Mm. I guess Spielberg pulled a few strings. Maybe. So anyway, um, after after that, uh, the uh, gangsters decide to go after Marty, and Marty uh, scared time travels to 1955, yep. which is when uh, Doc Brown uh, invented time travel. No, he got the yeah, idea is. for that that thing. No, the flux capacitor was earlier. No, he in 55, he got the idea for it. But it never became a reality until the okay. 80s. So, uh... Remember, he was standing on the toilet, hit his head on the sink, and he came up with that idea, mm -hmm. but he could not make it work. I thought that was before. Oh, mm -hmm. well. Uh, so... There's Maybe. there's a lot of like fish out of water store fish out of water sequences and they really hammer it in that it's that this is like the that this is that this is the fifties you know like uh well the cars yeah the billboard how people are dressed um what else oh and the soda shop yeah and the movie was the movie uh I don't know if it's necessarily aged that well because. It lists Toys R Us as an operating business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe not. But we did see Toys R Us in Japan. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is. It takes place in Japan? Okay. No. no. It was the last uh, Universal Park to... Oh, we lost internet. It was the last Universal Park to have Back to the Future. Hmm. Ignore that screen. Um, so anyway... Uh, Basically, Pepsi Next isn't available. Tab isn't available. What was Pepsi Next? Was that like their new Coke or something? Maybe. And he said, I just want something without sugar. And he gives him a cup of black coffee. Both of us were thinking that he was just going to give him water. Ice or water, yeah. What was hilarious is he didn't pay the tab. Or the bill. Yeah. He started a tab. Um, so anyway, uh, at this point he meets, he re-meets with Doc Brown, proves that, you know, he, oh wait, before this, uh, he meets his dad and we find out that his dad, uh, kind of a wimp. Well, we knew he was a wimp at the beginning. He was, he was a brainy, uh, brainiac. He was, he was. Like science fiction. Uh, what did, uh. What did Marty say? He was a peeping Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I thought that he might have lived like miles away, but it turns out he lived across the street. So uh, basically how he how his parents previously met was he fell off a tree looking at her, looking at her on. What was her name? Getting dressed or whatever. Uh, Mary? No. Cute girl. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Post your comments below. Um, Stop it. <laughs> I thought she was cute. That's fine. So anyway, how they meet is he falls out of the tree while he's looking at her. However, unfortunately... his da Her however, dad hits him with the car. However, unfortunately, Marty pushes him out of the way. And now as a result, his mother... Kind of is attracted to him. Right. And uh, there's an episode of, what, the Jackie Gleason show or something? Mm-hmm. 
yeah, and he's like, oh man, I, I know this episode, this is a classic. And he's like, what? Yeah. Uh, it's a rerun. What's a rerun? You'll find out. <laughs> Seriously, they didn't have reruns in the 50s? Not much, because you were just starting to get TV. Most people still listen to the radio. And we are clearly fictional people because we have two TVs in this house. Wow. Or maybe we're joking, apparently. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, Mike, uh, Marty has to give George, uh, tips, like, on how to try to be a ladies' man. Um, and he kind of starts, he kind of screws up, and then, uh, yeah, Marty, but... Marty finds Biff, and Marty kind of, you know, kind of does some, kind of does some attacking on, uh, Biff. As he should. <laughs> His method stinks. <laughs> You'll get that one, folks. Um, and he inadvertently invents skateboards. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, but while he's trying to get his real dad to like his real mom... You're forgetting Why that... don't you just say his dad to like his mom? Why do they have to be real? Well, whatever. You're forgetting the part that Doc was telling him you cannot change the future. I don't... He kept telling him that. You have to get them together. Otherwise, in his picture, his brother he didn't was say you fading. Can't... He didn't say you can't change the future. He said you have to make sure you've changed the future. You need to fix it. Oh. Well, because his brother was fading, yeah. his sister was fading, and then he started He was to starting fade to fade. At the dance. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, it's it kind of gets into kind of a repeat of him having to uh, be hit by electricity, or hit by lightning, while at the same time dealing with Biff, while trying to get his dad to hook up with his mom, while trying to not get hit on by his mom. <laughs> and he it, finds out a couple things about his mom when he takes her to the dance. Oh, that... Well, I think he knew that she drank because she was drinking... She was drinking vodka. But the, she always stated, you don't go parking with the boy and everything, so... Was that even slang in the 50s? Parking? Yeah. Yeah. Go out by the lake and park and whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't alive in the 50s, folks. Yeah, but he... Yeah, she took out a small bottle that mm -hmm. she got from the old lady. Which looked like maple syrup. Yeah, it did. It was in that size of a bottle and it yeah. was brown. And then um, she took out a cigarette. I don't know if she was trying to act like more mature. To him or something? I don't know. No, I think it was like a peer pressure thing where she, where she was like, oh, you are so square. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, So it all comes down to the dance. You know, they come up with an idea of like, look, you're going to beat me up or you're going to punch me in the stomach and then we're going to, and then he's she's going to fall in love with you. Right. So he was going to be like, oh, yeah, passed out or something. However, it doesn't exactly go according to plan. No, We're not going to reveal doesn't. it. But uh, here's here's one more thing I will reveal. Two more things. Well, three more things. One is that uh, he... What song does he play at the end? Um, oh, by... Mm, Little Richard. Was it Little Richard? Or Charlie, what did I say it was? I don't know. Oh, now I forgot. But we were thinking he was going to play Power of Love because that pl that played at the beginning, and that was the song that he had used uh, for the audition. Yeah. You've, we're, we might say that one day. What the? Anyway, uh, I have... We have another screen going, and it's just like playing... A lot of action. Yeah, a, real, a lot of really odd stuff here. I'll stop that. Okay. So, anyway, 
uh, he becomes he becomes a guitar person and or he becomes well because he, he gets shoved in the trunk yeah. of the band that's playing at the Enchanted Sea. Yeah, in under the Enchanted Sea or something. It was a dance. The Enchantment the of the Sea. Yes, yeah, something close to that. And um, the guitar player had to try and get don't don't reveal it, Marty. Don't reveal why. No, you had to get him out of the trunk. Yeah, but uh, another thing that I'll reveal is that um, wait, what happens? Oh, uh, he try he he wants to try to save Doc Brown's life, and Doc Brown's like, yes, no, Marty, I don't want to know anything about the future. Yeah, but he writes him a note. Mm-hmm. And but I thought let's Doc not Brown... reveal let's not no, reveal no. what happens with the note. I thought he ripped it up. Oh, got it. So anyway, uh... So, Marty gets in the car. He goes down the street. Mm-hmm. And then Doc has to go up and connect. Don't... Yeah. Uh... A few other... Uh, two other things is that his life has changed... Or his life has changed significantly, including mm -hmm. the house, uh, <laughs> including his, his dad, parents. including his wife, or his no, mom. his mom, including uh, his brother. <laughs> and yeah, things look significantly different. Um, and it was only gone a week. <laughs> there's wow. an upcoming. There's an upcoming. Fi there's a thing with Biff. We're not going to reveal. However, it's like hey <laughs> hey. Yep. And uh it was at this point where sadly our Blu-ray of of it started glitching and so we don't exactly know what happened at the end. We do know that uh Doc says You have to go back to the future. You have to come with me, Marty. Where we're going, we don't need roads. And, My impression instead, is getting worse and worse. And instead of using plutonium or whatever. Yeah, plutonium. He's now using like banana peels and like soda. No, I think it was a beer. <laughs> he even threw the cannon. So, you know, he was getting right there with all those, mm -hmm. um, what do you call them? Uh, garbage. No, like when you keep all your food scraps and everything and you turn them over you make fertilizer and all that compost yeah or no uh, yes yes you're right no it's the yes you're right no it's compost no 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 it's because the... he was using banana peels and he was using food and then he poured the beer in and then he threw the can in and what but is where was what the is dog? that thing that what is that thing that we do with this that we have with the sink Garbage disposal? Yeah, it was the disposal. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, okay. But where was his dog? Einstein, or what was his dog's name? I think his dog might have still been with Doc Brown. But Doc Brown was in the car. I don't know. Maybe he okay. dropped him off somewhere. And that's when the movie ends. So I would say, unlike most... 70s and 80s action movies and especially 80s comedies um, that usually don't hold up and seem very dated and hilariously miscast sometimes. Uh, this one seemed perfectly cast. I'm not sure if I necessarily believed Michael J. Fox as a high school student. He is. He looked... To me, he didn't look like it. It was it was it was a thing in the seventies. How old do you think he is nowadays? Probably in his forties or fifties. Yeah, I would say he's in his fifties, late forties. So he 50s. would have been in his tw mid twenties or so when he when that movie came out. Thirty years ago. Forty five, fifty minus thirty. It's like twenty, or he might even be older. To me, he looked fine. He fit the role. He looked fine. Okay. Maybe I'm just used to his Spin City character. Yeah. Uh, that was after this, I think. Yeah. This was... Was this one of his first movies? I'm not sure. Maybe. It might have been around fa uh, when he was on Family Ties. Mm, maybe. I've never seen that show. Or I might have, mm. but I don't remember it. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah, definitely I'd recommend this movie. It still holds up. It probably could have used a few minutes of trimming. True, but I think even at the end, it didn't, like, give on, like, that there would be a sequel. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. They just got in the car and they were going to the yeah, future. Yeah, it's like, Marty, we have to go into the future. There's now. something with your kids. Yeah, but it didn't. So they were going to the future. It didn't really, like, go beyond that. So I don't know. It, it I, seems I felt like, like it wasn't giving us a sequel. It seems like it, I, it. it's one of those things where it works both ways, where... If they, if the movie if was, it wasn't popular, it didn't make money. They then you could, then you could just, then you could just say like, okay, they're going into the future and saving the world. Yeah, or they could have done or, a movie straight to DVD or something. Straight to VHS because this oh, is VHS. the eighties. Yes. Okay. Sorry. That is true. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't even know if straight to VHS mainstream movies were existed in the eighties. Oh, well, that's something you can Google tomorrow. It was towards the 90s that they did uh, okay, direct-to-video. Let's, let's wrap this up. So so anyway, this is Back to the Future Month. I recommend it. Yeah, it was okay. Mm -hmm. Still holds up. Um, little, A little too much. There is a lot of profanity, especially for a PG movie. And I do not want the writers and directors of that Vacation remake to even touch this movie if they ever remake it. Or do a reboot. I don't think they could do a reboot. I think I think they. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to see it. Let's put it that way. Because it I could, think it could be done well. I think the first one was done well enough. Good. That I. I just don't know. Well, you never know. I mean, there's been times when sequels of TV shows and movie, or no, reboots of TVs and movies were terrible, and the. People thought they'd be terrible, and then they turned out to be okay. Okay. Like, uh, when Sp when the first three Spider-Mans came out, when Amazing Spider-Man came out, it was just kind of meh. But I thought Andrew Garfield was a much better Peter Parker in the second movie because that's when he felt more comfortable with the character. Mm, could be. Uh, the original DuckTales is a beloved show, and then when they did a reboot, it was like, oh no, they're going to be terrible with it, and then it apparently turns out to be okay. Okay. Or you might Let's... get a flop, or you might get a flop like that Vacation remake or the Magic School school Bus Rides again. Okay. Thank you, Squirrel Talk. Let's not get into all the remakes or reboots or I'm whatever. just saying... I know, okay, but let's reboots, just... Reboot let's doesn't just always mean this... terrible. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Okay, we both agree, yes, go ahead and watch it, rent it, stream it whatever you can do go ahead and then we're going to catch the next one yeah okay and we'll can i sure can we... i do one uh can i do one final joke go ahead michael bay will love this movie because we've got an american flag bye like comment and subscribe subscribe to me and i will subscribe back to you and let's both get to a thousand subscribers okay take care bye bye how do you turn this off oh